Let's begin with tonight's high-stakes final presidential debate. NBC's Andrea Mitchell is at Hofstra University on New York's Long Island, where it will all go down tonight. Andrea, good morning. Good morning, Meredith. Well, those stakes could not be higher for John McCain. Tonight is his last best chance to appeal to a huge television audience of those undecided swing voters and try to reverse the momentum of this campaign. Nothing is inevitable. We never give up. We never quit. We never hide from history. We make history. Now let's go win this election and get this country moving. A revved up John McCain raising questions about Barack Obama's readiness to lead the nation through this economic crisis. Perhaps never in history have the American people been asked to risk so much based on so little. When the two men meet tonight, they will tangle over competing economic plans. McCain calls Obama a big taxer. The Obama campaign denies it. We're dealing with the big lie, you know, the, the, the kind of very, very cynical uh, political operative idea is that if you repeat the big lie over and over again, then people start believing it. To counter Obama's lead in the polls on the economy, McCain proposed a new economic plan Tuesday, just in time for the debate. McCain would eliminate taxes on unemployment benefits, cut the capital gains tax in half, fully insure all bank deposits, and in an appeal to 9 million seniors, lower the tax on withdrawals from retirement accounts. This is the last time he's going to have direct access to an audience of about 50 or 60 million people or more. You're even prettier in person. Now you're making me blush. Taking a break from his debate preparations, Obama greeted auto workers in Ohio. The country screwed up. I hope you can do it. We're really going to fix it for working people. How hard will McCain go after Obama in this final debate? Monday night, McCain told a radio interviewer he will bring up Obama's disputed connection to the 60s radical William Ayers. I think he's probably ensured that it will come up uh, this time. And look, Mark, it's not that I give a damn about uh, some old washed up terrorist and his terrorist wife that on 2001 said they wish they'd bomb more. What I care about and what the American people care about is whether he is being truthful with the American people. The vast majority of the American people associate terrorism with, you know, radical Islamic groups and al-Qaeda. And I, I just think it's, I think it's over the top. Going after Obama's character could be risky if it backfires with swing voters. If McCain goes down that road and some people are telling him to do it, I think he'll hurt himself badly in that debate. It will be the end. Uh, in, in all but name. I also think he's got to show that he can fight for the American people. Uh, not again necessarily against uh, Barack Obama, but for the American people. And that new New York Times poll shows that people who turned against McCain in recent weeks, in fact, since the first debates, shows two main reasons, what they see as negative attacks and also his choice of Sarah Palin as his running mate. Matt? All right, Andrea, thanks very much.